Hello and good morning. Good morning. Good morning, world. My name is Timothy Reddick. Today we are going to discuss and talk about decision making and the ability for a person to make a choice that can be eventually life altering. You see, roughly about two years ago, I decided to make a choice. Me and my wife had gotten into a verbal um, disagreement. I went outside and I did what I would normally do. I grabbed one of the new ports and I used to smoke longs. And so I lit that cigarette and I'm pacing back and forth, kind of like I'm doing right now. And what happened was, is a thought popped in my head. Do you truly believe God can deliver you from these cigarettes? Is your faith that strong? The same way he did your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, all thinking inside of my head. And, you know, I just eventually had to say, yes, I do believe that. And so in the process of doing that, I put the cigarette out, went to my car. I had a fresh pack. I uh, grabbed all 15 to 17 cigarettes, stood over the garbage can, and I said the Lord's Prayer. And in between me thinking amen and saying amen, you know, I crushed and crumbled and threw away the cigarettes. I have not had a cigarette since. See, it was my ability to make that decision and stand behind the choice to ask God to deliver me from those cigarettes because, you know, simply put, I was not strong enough to do it by myself. Which brings me to my next point here for you folks. This video is only going to be about three minutes long. I might go over a little bit and everything, and this isn't going to be some religious exploit. This isn't going to be me pushing the Bible or anything like that. I'm just sharing a story of faith with you. Now, with that being said, we're going to talk about a person's ability to make a choice. Simply put, everyone has the ability to make a choice. See, right now you're doing something that you've been putting off. You're sitting there and you're playing a video game and you've been putting off, you've been prolonging, you've been waiting for something to change, for something to happen. And that needs to be you. You need to get up. You have to look in the mirror. You have to stand tall and firm and decide right now that today's the day I'm going to make a choice. Today's the day I'm going to take action. Today's the day that I'm going to put a plan in place. Now, if you notice the group of words that I just strung together, it's all about putting your goals on paper, putting together an action plan, and then taking action. Because, see, nothing happens in life without there being a thought first, and then a decision second. And then third and not last, there has to be an action that takes place. And between your thoughts, the decision on those thoughts and the activity behind that decision, that will create your reality. See, what I'm saying is, at any one given time, how you feel is a direct reflection of what you're thinking. If you don't like how you're feeling, change your thought process. If you don't like your reality, have a better activity. If you don't like your activities, then make a better decision. And if you don't like the decisions you've been making, then have a better thought. My name is Timothy Reddick. I approve this message. That's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. This is my first blog. Don't judge me too hard. I look forward to bringing a better message to the world. And speaking of decisions, I'll finish with this. It took me forever to do this blog, but I made a decision. I decided, and then I took action to record this first one for you. So this is me not just teaching and trying to coach you, but this is me doing what I'm telling you you need to do. Thank you. Be blessed. And make it a great day.